Welcome to Intercraft channel. So, here we are with another episode to improve our photo engraving outcomes. In case you have not already checked the mechanics of your laser engraver, the belt tension and adjustment of the eccentric knots, go back and watch the first episode of this channel. Then check also your laser head is fixed solid to the gantry and also the protective glass on your laser head, in case applicable, is fixed in position. If you are still experiencing periodic lines parallel and or perpendicular to the scan lines, here I have found two solutions which at least worked on my machine. Hopefully this video may help you as well to remove the periodic horizontal and vertical artifacts and improve your photo engravings. First parameter to consider is the resolution of X and Y axis. Normally step motors divide each turn to 200 steps, each of 1.8 degrees. With a default driver of 1 16th, each round is delivered by 3200 microsteps. If you also have a 2GT belt and your laser engraver with 2mm pitch, a 20T wheel passes 40mm in each turn, which gives a resolution of 0.0125mm. The problem here is that the resolution has 4 decimals. The G code skips the fourth digit and rounded up or down, so the line intervals become limited to few numbers. Though, even by respecting those numbers, I was still getting line artifacts parallel to the scan lines. So I decided to change the timing wheels on both axes of my machine to 16Ts instead of 20Ts. If you have changed the wheel, you need to update the number of steps per millimeter on your firmware. On light burn, these parameters are called $100 and $101, which I have changed from 80 to 100. There should be similar parameters on other controllers and firmware. A 16T wheel of 2GT with 2mm pitch delivers a resolution of 0.01mm and the number of possible and applicable line intervals are much more. I did a test with the new wheels and 0.12 mm line intervals for 200 times 200 mm image. First you may notice those vertical lines which are perpendicular to the scan lines. But most importantly the periodic artifacts parallel to the scan line are gone. It means changing the wheel to a 16 T wheel was a success. Next I investigated the source of the vertical periodic lines. I engraved the rectangle colored with 50% gray and dithered with different scan line intervals. What I can see in this test is that these artifacts occur in a range of line intervals and beyond that it does not reveal in the engraving. If you are experiencing such artifacts, run a similar test with your machine. Respect the X and Y resolution and figure out the range of line intervals that you can use without having those periodic lines. Unless it could have happened on my machine due to the combination of set parameters and applied factors. This test shows me that I cannot use between 0.10 and 0.13 mm line intervals. Beyond that, it seems to be fine. Here are a few examples I have done after the change of the wheels and figuring out which line intervals are no-go for my machine. Hopefully you found this video useful and these issues had similar sources on your machine as well. Thanks for watching and see you another time.